Today's video is absolutely packed with fun information. If you're here voluntarily, I don't know what's wrong with you. If you're here by mistake, you better leave now. Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the absolute utter depths of despair and the entire internet. Extra special treat today, we're going to a pawn shop, which is often overlooked and seldom scouted for for merchandise. And we have a small treasure trove that I found in a pawn shop, which I'm so excited to show you about. I'm like a, a young dung beetle who's rolling home my first ball of dung to show my mother and I'm just so excited to show her what I did. And also we're going to two consignment stores where I actually consign items. There are two stores in town, clothing. It's mostly clothing. It's been two months since I picked up from these stores. Just enough yimmer yammering. Let's get out of this car, out into the wilds of the world and adventure for these thrift stores, consignment shops, and this granddaddy of them all, the pawn shop. So first things first, I sold a few things and they're going to be going out. I live in the Southeast. I'm currently in the Northeast. I've been here for six months. Sold a few things. I bring my business on the road. I'm always thrifting no matter what I'm doing. And these things are sitting in the garage. So that's why it looks all strange. Through the magic of editing, these things are packed up. The labels are being printed. We're bringing it all the way to the post office, through the rain, over the hill, past grandmother's house and to their new owner's house. Bon voyage. Congratulations. This is a consignment store. Uh, silks and treasures. I sell a lot of like mall brand clothes here. Stuff that's just oversaturated on eBay or I'm not going to make very much on eBay. Stuff like Old Navy, tablets, that kind of thing. It's a very overpriced store in my opinion. I did look around, but I like selling stuff consignment level, but I don't really find too much merch here in terms of profitability as a reseller. I did find this book set, The Wimpy Kid. If you find enough diary of Wimpy Kid books, they can do pretty well on eBay. All of the, they were asking $30 for this, even new on, on Amazon. They're selling for 50 50 bucks. No good. No bueno. I found this DVD, just this one, just this one at this store today. Sells for about 19 bucks used. I paid three bucks for it. I'll make about $8 on this sucker. So this $172.73, this is an itemized list, 24 items. As you can see, there's an Under Armour, Old Navy, uh, Asus, Express, Talbots, Calvin Klein, stuff that if I had sold on eBay myself, I probably would have made about the same price. Plus I would have had to deal with shipping and all the customer service and stuff myself. So it's easier to do at a consignment store. Shakedown Street, this is the other store that I go to. This is a hipper store, younger crowd. I made $306. Uh, and that was a, so it's a great, almost, almost 500 bucks for consignment. Next door is a pawn shop and I don't really shop too often in pawn shops, but look at what I found wow. in this pawn shop today. I filled the backseat of my truck with all these models and it was such an awesome deal. And we're going to kind of explore that here. I, it, three buckets of this filled my truck and I got all of these for $300 There's 110 models total. Uh, everything on top of the table here. Right in the kitchen near all the food. That's how I like to look at these models. And again, I have uh, for $300 and over 100 of these, I have less than $3 e uh, into these each. And, and, and if you know anything about models, I am definitely not a model connoisseur, but all of them are even selling at... Uh, like a 10 to $15 on profiting on these suckers. And these bigger ones, some of them selling for 40, 50, 30, 35, $55. So just these large ones alone, I anticipate making more than my $300 investment. Off to the Salvation Army store. And again, these shelves, they are bare than my bottom on a Friday night. I did find this one Disney chip mug. I, I, $8 was a really high price, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to look it up. It is a Disney brand, and I was shocked. They're actually selling for like $30, $35, $40, which is really bizarre. Um, even even this one, a uh, different model, but it sells for about $35, including shipping. So I ended up picking this up. If you've seen my videos before, I like shopping off-season because often these jackets are really cheap. This was $10 half off, so I only paid 5 bucks. Cool brand. I don't know how to say it. Coolor. Um, and again, got it for five bucks and I'm going to hold on to this until the fall or the winter season. So I'm going to hold on to these for about five months and I anticipate I can get like 40 to $50 for this. Um, so I love looking for off season clothing as, as it's a uh, heavily discounted, uh, Texas instruments, not this one, but keep an eye out for calculators. You probably already know that if you're a reseller, if you're new to reselling Texas instrument calculators, keep an eye out for them on, I, I don't know the numbers. I didn't run the numbers for this video. All the ones on this, this lower 
bench here. These are all duplicates, so these are really easy to list. One picture for multiple listings, or one listing for multiple items, I should say. And a lot of these, even the smaller ones, are selling for $15 to $20 a piece. I am lotting up a lot together. 99% of these are all sealed in plastic. Um, so I really don't know the numbers. I gotta, while I edit this, I'm going to throw some numbers up on the screen. But I'm guessing I'm going to five times to six, seven times my money on this after all said and done. A lot of great, great brands and some really cool older, some 1980s, 1990s. And the pawn shop, and this was a good lesson and reminder to myself to always ask for bundled deals. Uh, when negotiating deals, don't throw out the first price. Always let them turn out the first price. I'm going to put a video up on the screen where I actually talk a little bit about how I like to negotiate. So check that video out if you have any interest in, in seeing how I like to negotiate prices. But this woman, I was actually going to uh, offer counter whatever she said with $500. I anticipated her saying a lot more than she did. She actually blurted out $300, and I knew that was a fantastic deal right off the bat so i just uh i pretended i didn't want to act like i was too excited so i said thanks for the offer it's very reasonable and i'm going to think about it so don't be afraid to bundle buy a bunch of stuff whether you're at a, an estate sale or garage sale uh, an auction or now pawn shops even some mom and pop thrift stores this has worked for me for just asking them how much would you take if I bought all of these items? Because you'll most likely, especially these pawn shops, they just want to clear some shelf space. This woman actually said these were around for five years. She used to have a lot more and these were just the last remaining ones. So she was happy to get rid of them. And for her, her that $300 was more than, she's already made all her money back. So this was just, uh, just get it out of my store, please. So I was happy to take it. I like to look for Harry Potter hardback specifically. This one is pretty beat up covers torn it's kind of dirty pages but if you find whole sets out there you can get 50 60 70 80 dollars first editions maybe even 100 dollars. if you can get them for a dollar or two maybe even three uh, and just piece sets together over time you can often find them at garage sales and thrift stores just like this here and uh, they're worth they're worth looking out for i did find this answer machine really strange that you think that who buys answer machines anymore this one does seem uh, new in the box it's unused on Amazon, it sells for a decent amount, but on eBay, it's only about $20 to $25 uh, brand new. And uh, I think they were asking $7 for that. So I left that behind. Uh, I didn't think it was quite enough money. Maui and Sons, these shorts, I sell these swim trunks. They sell for $15 to $20. I got these for three bucks and I anticipate about $20 to $25 for this. Maui and Sons does a great job with branding there. You'll see Maui and Sons is written on here, I think, six times, which is pretty incredible. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I sure did, and I'll see you guys out in the wilds.